first folks headed off into the rain for the day. It was a rainy, rainy, messy, soupy night, as you can tell. I had my first night in the rain and my first tarp failure. My um, stakes got were in the ground, of course, and they got so super saturated, the ground did, that my stakes pulled up. So my tarp, when I woke up, was flopping around. I think my underquilt is wet. So we only have a short of an eight mile day today. I think we'll head out early and I'll get to the shelter and dry my stuff out before I have to set up for tonight. So that's the strategy, but look at this. It is just a soupy, soupy mess. We just came up our first climb of the day and trying to figure out how to regulate our temperature. Um, taking off my hat and my rain gloves and I don't know if this is going to do it justice, but I am full decked out in my rain gear and I can already tell you, I think my favorite piece of gear is this damn umbrella. I have just, it's amazing. It's amazing. It's covering my pack and covering me. So um, definitely worth the six or seven ounces that it is to carry it to have this little bit of sanity since rain can drive people crazy so much on the trail. We're coming up out of Horse Gap, up Sassafras Mountain, just starting our ascent. And as we are coming up this trail, just the sweetest little violet growing in a rock here in a little crevice. Now that so I said I would video going up Sassafras some more. And all of a sudden I realized we were at the top of Sassafras. So the mountains here certainly are different, not just the soft underfooting um, that we don't have in New Hampshire, but also there were some switchbacks. And so that kind of threw me off and took away some of the grade. In New Hampshire, it's just straight up mountains. So I'm sorry about that, but I just didn't even realize that we had reached the summit until we were there. So we stopped for a moment and had got some cell phone coverage because I think Gooch Gap might be down in a, uh, or our Gooch shelter might be down in a gap. Um, so I'm not so sure we're gonna have cell phone coverage tonight. So we took a second to do that and refuel with food and water and we're headed down. 